What's up guys, this is a quick video on a backup script I did, uh, all on GitHub, so you're free to download and make changes as you want. Really meant for prosumers, but yeah, just figured it's a little tool to make backing up easier and more efficient. Um, yeah, I wrote it for, I tried to write it for all the, the platforms, Mac, PC, and Linux. So, but yeah, um, real quick tool I uh, wanted to make. Now, obviously you could have other options like file history for Windows, or I think it's um, Time Machine for Mac OS. I'm not a fan of those because they consume the entire hard drive. You have other options like cloud storage, such as um, as OneDrive and iCloud Drive. And those are great options as well, but I'm not a fan of those for certain cases, like you know, you've know, you got Excel stuff, financial data, or large files like pictures and videos. This script should kind of fill in the gap, basically. So yeah, um, you're gonna have, go ahead and download all the project files here. And uh, there's really two steps. First, you wanna work on the config editor, which is specifying the sources and destination, and then you run the script. So you've got this little tool here. You're gonna wanna have Java installed. I, I compiled this with Java 11. Um, but if you guys have issues ex opening this up, let me know. Uh, it should show like, it should look like this. And if you're running Mac OS, you might have an issue where it won't open at all because of security. You know, they really tighten things down. Go to the control panel and, uh, or system preference, I always forget. And go to security and privacy. And then on the bottom right, it should say, you know, click allow to open this file. And then on Linux, you're gonna run a command to um, make it executable. So like chmod 755, but yeah. Um, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> so this is basically it. You basically select the destination of where you want your files to be saved to and then the sources right here. So you just click on browse um, and then you can also just, if you want to type it in here, you just type it here and then click on add. And uh, yeah, basically what this is doing is just, it's copying everything over once to those folders and if there's any change, any new files, it'll copy over and it looks at the last modified date so if if it's um it also keeps it in sync so it looks at if it's newer than what's here in the destination then it's just going to copy it over um but yeah you know you guys are it's it's using uh, powershell and python so very easy if you want to make changes to that you're, you're more than welcome to, to break it down and um but yeah so you select the source and destination one other caveat i should say you want to make sure that the sources don't have the same name because as you could see um, the destination, which is here, backup slash mini, um, the destination has the same folder name. So I have it. I did have a catch here. So if you try to put something with the same folder name, it should be like, hey, whoa, there, don't do anything. So that should be like a little prevention right there from any issues. So it doesn't overwrite each other. Another thing to, I mean, this is basically you click on save. It's saving to a JSON file. If you want to, you're you're more than welcome to just edit the JSON file itself. But obviously. You know, this takes care of it because you can see you've got to worry about, um, there's two slashes here because of, uh, y it almost is like an escape character, uh, or it does, it, it screws with the natural JSON. So, you know, double slashes and we'll escape it to just regular string. But this thing should take care of it all for you. And uh, yeah, so once you save that, you're basically gonna run the script um, on, on here. So now we're gonna get into that section of, um, of getting it to run so we have it's all command line so like i said it's there's there's some stuff involved here um so for windows before you even get started you'll want to right click the uh task manager to open windows powershell and i have a script i wrote down here of what you have to run in order to to allow your windows to to run these commands but um but yeah so once that's done you just basically just type an end enter here and it'll run this script and it'll basically do um, so what it does is it uses robocopy actually so I'll open up the script here what it does is essentially just kind of parse the uh, the JSON file we created earlier and it will run robocopy over and over so if you want to change any parameters here I try to leave what was um, the most recommended stuff so basically if you want to run the script on a, on a schedule you're just gonna open up task as you create a task and then you know you add the argument, which is where the JSON file resides, and um, that's it. That that's really it. So it basically that's one way to automate it. But um, yeah, just remember, you know, that what you put at the end here is where the JSON is located. It's, it's in the same directory, so um, otherwise you might want to put that in quotations if it's in a different directory. And you know you got to worry about spaces. But yeah, 
Okay, and for Mac and Linux, it's the same process. Instead of using PowerShell, we're using Python. So there's a script right here, and it's basically curling the subprocess uh, here, uh, rsync. So if you have any arguments specific to your requirement, maybe for a server, you can just add them here, but it just basically does the same thing as Windows. It just iterates through the sources, um, going to one destination. And uh, yeah, it does a pretty good job at it. And then all you're doing is just Python, simple backup, unix or nix.py, and then just do the, the argument is gonna be the file where the JSON is, backup dot, you know, config json so this should be the same with linux i believe if you're having issues just check if it's executable uh using you know chmod but um i believe it might work automatically but yeah let me know what you guys think if there's any questions if uh you're welcome to you know add to the um to the github and i'm glad to i hope this helps people out